Being technologically proficient is a must these days, especially given the learning options online that are available to students. Now, in the absence of a prescribed technology curriculum, as well as issues relating to equitability and accessibility, it can be almost impossible for teachers to determine at the beginning of a year what their students' skills level is with respect to technology or how independently they can navigate online. One suggestion I feel will ensure that all students can acquire these skills consistently is through the implementation of the SAMR model. This model, developed by Ruben Puentadora in 2010, is an acronym for substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. And I do feel that implementing these levels gradually into your classroom will not only provide scaffolding for your students, but will also help them develop proficiency in the computer skills that you deem to be uh, most needed for your particular grade level or lesson. Let me show you how it works. Now in this phase, substitution basically means replacing an activity with a technological tool. So as an example, let's look at journaling, which is a common practice for primary students as well as junior students. It helps develop language arts skills and uh, spelling vocabulary as well. So I'm not advocating going paperless right away. I'm saying that once students understand what the lines and spaces and they can structure a basic simple sentence, why not introduce them to journaling in a Google document? Because this way they're going online and you're showing them how to name a file, how to create a title, how to save a file, how to possibly make a copy of it as well, but then also looking at different fonts, sizes, styles, colors, the list goes on. And you'll be surprised how many students in class may say to you, I know how to do this, may I show? If there aren't many volunteers or this is really new for everybody, uh, you as a teacher can make a screencast and just show the kids in class as well as give them time for independent discovery. Think of augmentation as an enhancement of substitution. So if the kids were typing uh, their journal document, going back to that example, and using colored font and different font styles, now may be a good point to introduce images. And if kids start inserting images, where are they getting them from? This is a short mini lesson on how to find appropriate images, safe images, images that are freeware on the computer. There's several lessons in and of itself. You could also discuss rebuses, which are stories that involve words and pictures, and so the pictures replace words. That could be an assignment that you give. This is where the lesson changes. So before you had journaling where the kids were writing, then they were typing, the lesson changes because now you're going to challenge the kids to create an audio file of their journal. So again, you're introducing different audio file uh, software programs, QuickTime, for example, recording on the phone, and they're pro providing you with an M4A file or recording that the kids can listen to in class. Again, be aware you will have student helpers, kids who are familiar with this, and who will be able to step up and support you as well. And it's great to empower the students too. And redefinition is where the lesson takes on a completely different shape. So again, going back to the journal example, the kids started by writing in a notebook, they moved to Google Docs and the different skills and tools available there. Then they were inserting pictures. Then they made an audio file. The final step is you're going to introduce them to a screencast or a vlog. And with a vlog, it's so exciting because you can have both video and um, audio going at the same time. So, so many different concepts you can teach in that. Again, it's up to you to manage that. If you just say make a vlog and they're small children, it's too overwhelming. Making a screencast, focusing on different criteria, making co-creative success criteria, discussing with your class what do you want to learn and setting those standards will keep the kids focused and engaged. But to move from paper and pencil to certain computer enhancements to creating some independent content that can be shared in class is an exciting way of showing how the SAMR model can come to life and also allow kids to acquire certain computer skills you want them to acquire in a meaningful way. Thanks and good luck.